All our mentees are vulnerable youth, and mentors are not expected to have the skills, expertise, or knowledge to deal with everything our mentees are struggling with. It is our responsibility to be self-aware and work within our limits. Know what you don't know, and if faced with a situation beyond your comfort zone, take action. By keeping current on the different resources in your community, you can provide your mentee with more options to get the support they need. Common referrals include things like medical clinics, community and employment centers, the referring organization, their school, their family, and other supportive adults are all resources available to you and your mentee. Your mentee's employer may also have programs and supports that might be useful resources. You'll find a list of resources in the toolbox and we encourage you to spend a few minutes doing an online search to become familiar with what local services and organizations are in your community. It's important as a mentor to manage yourself as a resource. You want to make sure you're not trying to do too much or getting too emotionally involved. It's okay to say no to a request your mentee makes of you. For example, I've had mentees ask to meet with me more than once a week or to stay late with no notice and I've had to say no. You want to model how to manage expectations for your mentee. If your mentee learns from you how to gracefully say no, they will have learned a very useful life skill. Regular assessments of your energy and emotional reserves are essential. Sometimes circumstances in our lives change and we find ourselves pulled in too many directions. We want to bring our best professional self to our sessions with our mentee. If you begin to feel things are out of balance or beyond your capacity to help, please, please, please reach out to your point person at the support organization. Ask for help, advice, or guidance. On my first day working as a mentor, my mentee, a young person with a very big heart, shared his dream with me. He wanted to go to school to earn a diploma in early childhood education so he could work in a daycare. His family had no money for him to go to school. I came home distressed and thinking of things I could sell to raise money to put towards his tuition. I knew this wasn't the right thing to do and I knew taking on my mentee's problems in such a personal way wasn't right either. I needed help so I spoke to my organization's point person. She shared a concept with me, professional caring. Caring, yes, but within the boundaries of someone who is a mentor. It was a powerful lesson. Know your limits. In the next module, we'll be sharing case studies, some of which deal with aspects of problem solving that are beyond the capacity of the mentor and require the support of the team. Music